<laughs> did I do this one in class? I don't remember yet. So, the, I think I did. So, if I wanted, um, say, k equals 0 to infinity, I know 1 over 1 plus x squared is going to be the sum of negative x squared to the uh, k. Uh, the reason for that is this is 1 over 1 minus negative x squared, right? So, it's part of a known series. So, uh, this is going to be the sum of negative 1 to the k, x to the 2k. And so that means inverse tangent of x, which is the integral of that, should be, if I integrate this term for term, I get negative 1 to the k, x to the 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1. And I think we did do that in class because we got those things with... Uh, uh, alternating odd denominators, right? So, if I wanted to go from that to inverse tangent of 5x, how would I get there? Just plug in the 5. Yeah, instead of an x, you plug in a 5x. So you got negative 1 to the k, uh, you got 5x in parentheses to the 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1. So there's your series for inverse tangent of 5x. Uh, Again, I don't think they're going to give you that one. I think uh, a couple of years ago they gave them like uh, uh, x squared times e to the x or something like that, and you had to get it from. And it's a similar thing, right? You take the series for e to the x, you work in a couple, couple of extra powers if you need to. What else you got? Take a look at the, uh, now that was the spring 15. That's a whole bit. I'm stopping. I want to say that. I want to say that. I want to say that. Can you do a question about the remainder? Yeah, I can do one of those. Yeah, let me, uh, let me black this up. Alright, so... The only two kinds of remainders they're going to ask you about is uh, alternating and integral. Uh, again, the last couple of years there's been a strong trend toward um, alternating remainders just because they're easy. Uh, so, we'll go through one of each. I think we have time. So, to me uh, the sum of negative 1 to the k over uh, k plus 3 squared k equals 1 to infinity and the sum of k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k plus 3 squared is, how many terms do I need in each? Okay, so one of these is far easier than the other. What's the, uh, what's the punchline for the alternating one? Oh, and you know what, let me, uh, let me modify these, sorry about this. Just to bring over one extra point. So instead of a k plus 3, suppose I'll make it 2k plus 3. Alright, so what's the punchline for the remainder of uh, alternating series? Your nth remainder uh, is less than your nth plus, your nth plus first term, right? Okay, uh, and so what I want is for 1 over something squared to be less than 0. 0.0005, right? Question is, what do I put down here? 
Yeah. Okay, good. How come it's 2k plus 5 and not 2k plus 4? Yeah, because you're plugging in k as k plus 1, right? So if I plug in 2 times k plus 1 plus 3, you see where I get 2k plus 2 plus 3? Uh, I've had a lot of people just plug in the next number bigger than 2k plus 3, which is 2k plus 4. You see the difference there? So there's a little bit of a trap to fall into. So this should be easy. This is just 2k plus 5 squared needs to be bigger than whatever the reciprocal of point triple O five is. Point oh five. Two thousand? Okay. So this needs to be bigger than two thousand. So if I square root that, I've got two K plus five needs to be bigger than forty four point seventy two approximately. Well I should get two thousand, I should have taken the uh inverse of that. I'm taking that reciprocal of point oh 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 five. One divided by zero point two. Yeah, so 1 over 0.005, uh, yeah, it's 2,000. All right, so let's see. 2K is bigger than, so 44.72 minus 5, 39.72. So if I divide that by 2, K is bigger than 19.86. Uh, and so I need uh, 20 terms, right? That's not bad. Uh, what's the punchline of this other one? When you have positive terms, you have to use your integral test panel, right? And so what I would need is for the integral from n to infinity of 1 over 2x plus 3 squared to be less than 0 0.0005. You see where you're going to get a lot bigger number from this one, right? So, uh, if I integrate this guy, uh, what I've got is the limit as c goes to infinity of, of that would be negative 1 over 2x plus 3. You have to divide by 2 from chain rule. Yeah, so I've got negative 1 over 2 times 2, 2x plus 3. That's evaluated at n and c. Alright, so this is a limit as c goes to infinity of negative 1 over 2 times 2c plus 3 plus 1 over 2 times 2n plus 3. Now the c is the only thing going to infinity, so this is just 1 over 2 times 2n plus 3. If you get to this stage and you have a negative number, what probably happened was you didn't take a, uh, an integral from n to infinity, you probably just took an indefinite integral to plug in the end, right? Because uh, I've seen that happen. Uh, make sure you're doing the one and not the other. So if this is less than 0. 0.0005, this means 2 times 2n plus 3 is bigger than 2,000. Same thing, just reciprocal of both sides. This tells me that 2n plus 3 is bigger than 1,000. So 2n is bigger than... 997, so 997 divided by 2, n is bigger than 498.5, so it means I need 499 terms. Now again, when we say it's easier to make an alternating series converge, and then it converges faster, do you see what I mean? To get the same error in an alternating series, I only needed 20 terms, and here I needed 499, right? So... I think you're much more likely to run into the alternating one, which is nice because it's easier. Uh, but you ought to be prepared for both of them. All right. I think I'm out of time. Uh, let's see. Today's Wednesday. I got office hours tomorrow and Friday. Uh, I'll do the best to get there.